What is going guys, it's Walfa here and welcome back to Undertale. Now last time we left off, as you can see, we came here to Snowden, the actual town of Snowden, and we kind of walked around, talked to a few people. There's a shop right here that doesn't actually buy anything from you, they only sell stuff to you. <laughs> and then over here we have an inn where we can stay the night, but I don't really need to stay at night. I have a full health and all that kind of stuff right now, I think, right? Uh, yeah, we got 40 out of 40 health. Uh, 129 gold, I think that is right there, level 6, not bad. And we got this igloo that like teleports us to the other side of town, which is really cool. But I believe we talked to everyone here in town, except for everyone that's in Grillsby's. We even went up top and there's like this weird like wolf or something like that that was throwing like giant ice cubes into the river as well as like a... Like we went up another area and it had like... Look at how crazy this guy looks, by the way. <laughs> there's like another area where there's like a wrong number song or something stupid like that. So... Just a bunch of random nonsense over here. Oh yeah, and then we had a battle with like a greater dog or something like that. And the thing I can die, so rest in peace, right? But anyways, over here we have speed of dogs, some other dogs that we battled, and these ones actually survived. Let's see what they have to say. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. <laughs> We love bones. Yeah, I guess you're dogs. What do you have to say? Where is that big lug? We can't start until he shows up. Oh, I think they're talking about that greater dog that I killed last episode. Whoops. I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. <laughs> what about this over here? This guy that was, I think, at the beginning of last episode, right? What does he have to say? It's playing poker against itself. Uh, okay. Half the cards are on the ground anyways. It appears to be losing. <laughs> What are these people? They're all like passed out. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Are you a fish yourself? I can't even tell. <laughs> well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. Um, <laughs> what? Um, okay, pause. Uh, <laughs> I'm editing the video right now and I just realized, yeah, this guy is referencing that fishing pole from like episode two or whatever that was, right? You guys remember when we first went into this area, there's like this river with a fishing pole in the water. I pulled the line out of the water and it had a, a piece of paper with the guy's phone number on it. That's this guy. I didn't realize that until now while editing the video. Holy heck. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. Okay, that's isn't that what Papyrus says he wants to become, right? He wants to be a part of the Royal Guard or something like that? She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Now, what, what about the bartender over here? You know your hair is... your whole face, your actual head is fire. It's not just on fire, it is fire. <laughs> you need to stop not dying like crazy right now. Grillsby said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. So I guess this guy's name is Grillsby, but yeah, he doesn't touch water or else it's going to extinguish his whole body, I guess. What about this guy by the jukebox? The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm, I don't want to see the eraser of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some city slickers slip into their butts. <laughs> yeah, I bet so, huh? What about the jukebox? Can I change the song that's playing right now? The jukebox is broken! I can hear the music right now! Or I guess it's stuck playing this song, huh? <laughs> what about this plant-looking thing? No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and uh, hot, hot guys! <laughs> What about this passed out bunny over here? Can I even? Oh, here we go. I guess the bartender's kind of uh, hot. Yeah, he's literally on fire over there. <laughs> All right, I guess we talked to everyone over here now, huh? Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just continue on, huh? I can't go into, I think this was Papyrus's house. How did I know that? Was it because of the mailbox or? This is mailbox is labeled Papyrus, yeah. All right, I guess maybe it's Papyrus and Sans' house, huh? This might be Sans's, this is Papyrus's. Everyone loves Sans, I guess, so that's why his mailbox is full and Papyrus is empty. Oh, Papyrus doesn't get any love. And yeah, there's the ice cubes that we saw last episode, so let's just continue on this way, I guess. Oh! What happened? Why's the screen looking like that? Is it because it's freezing or something? What's happening? Like, the further right I go, the more... Oh, jeez, I can't... Am I still controlling my... Oh, oh, what's this? We got a shadow. Of me and Papyrus, it looks like. Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, 
I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not. You shall be lonely no longer. I, the great Papyrus, will be your... Dot, dot, dot. No! No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus. The newest member of the Royal Guard. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm actually battling Papyrus now. Papyrus blocks the way. Do I want to actually kill him? No, I like him. He's a pretty cool guy. <laughs> I'm gonna check insult flirt. <laughs> Let's insult him. How selfless. You want me to feel better about fighting you. I don't deserve such hospitality from you. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Let's get away. Now remember, Sans has been telling us about the blue attacks. What in the world was that? He didn't even try and attack me. <laughs> Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> Alright, so that didn't really do anything. What about- Oh yeah, yeah, let's check him. We, we found out last episode after killing the heckin'- Well, actually it was before killing the heckin' dog, but it says, uh, he likes to say, nya ha ha as we know that. <laughs> but how's that gonna help me? <laughs> yeah, I know! No, those- but yeah, those are bones down there. That's why they're not hitting me. <laughs> they're just short little bones. He's playing hard to play it cool. Or trying hard to play it cool. How- Flirt, I guess. What? F flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. W well, uh, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti and I have zero redeeming co- Yeah, you know what? I can make spaghetti, yeah. Oh no, you're meeting all of my standards. I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date later uh, after I capture you. <laughs> All right, well, I I'm going to try my best not to kill a Papyrus here, because I like him. Uh, would that mean I have to heckin' date the guy to actually make him survive? I don't know. Uh, insult? What happens if I insult him after flirting with him? Like, what's going to happen now? I don't know. There's no need to lie to yourself. Your barbs hide a hidden affection, you emotional cactus. Emotional cactus? <laughs> well, if I'm an emotional cactus, come give me a hug. With your cold bones. He's thinking about what to cook for his date. Ooh. Let's flirt again. Oh no. Let's date a little later after I capture you. Now, if he's thinking about what to cook. Like. Wait, hold on. Can I. Let, let me check if I can mercy now. Spare. I don't think that'll work, right? It's just going. Yeah, it's just going to put me back into a battle. So you won't fight. But let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Uh oh. Ah, there it is. Whoa. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, how did I survive that? Oh, jeez! Whoa! Wait, wait, my heart is blue now. You're blue now. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> That's my attack. <laughs> You're blue now. Spare? Uh, wh what's going to happen now? Hmm, I wonder what I should wear. Okay, well, I'm not moving. Wait, wait. So it, it makes me like bounce the stuff now. I can't. I can't just stay there. Papyrus dabs mitt brand bishy cream behind his ear. What? Okay, what else happens if I try and act now? What happens if I try and flirt now with a blue heart? Papyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back. I'd stay later after I capture you. That that sounds really weird to say out loud there, Papyrus. You shouldn't say that. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so I actually have to avoid the, the bones now. Instead of just standing there, I have to, like, fight against gravity and stuff. It's crazy. Now, what happens if I insult him? He's too busy fighting to accept your insult. So does that mean I have to fight him, then? Because I haven't done that yet. Here we go. Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, man, I took a little bit of damage there. Oh, that's a big tall bone for the tall bone of the tall G. <laughs> I have 31 out of 40 health, and I still have some of those nice creams in my inventory, right? So that should be good. Uh, behind his ear. Let's fight. Let's see how it happens if I try and fight. There you go. 45 45 damage, but that barely did anything. Hold up longer to jump higher, jeez. Yeah, that's what I did earlier. Oh, I landed on it, and I heck, it took damage there. <laughs> oh, no. No! Whoa! Well, this is really hard. Oh, there you go. Golly. 
A Pirates Dabs, uh, MIT brand? Oh no, that's MTT, not MIT. MTT brand. Attraction slime behind his ear. Well, seems like it's working because I'm going to flirt with him again. Too busy fighting. So I, I guess I have to fight him. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Uh-oh. Oh, he's going the other way now. Oh, whoop. Oh. Whoop. Small jump. Oh, small jumps and then a medium jump and then a no jump. Oof, there you go. Okay, I guess fight again, huh? Whoop, there you go. And you guys said to, to spam the button there. I guess because we have that tough glove on, right? Yeah. So I'm going to try and do that. Even though I don't want to kill him, so I should probably not spam the button, honestly. <laughs> oh, jeez. What did he say right there? I didn't I didn't get to read what he said. Whoop. Oh, and then we ignore that. There we go. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, Whoa, that was a really fast bone there at the very end. Realizes he doesn't have ears. <laughs> yeah, because he's all bones. He doesn't have ears. That's just cartilage, right? Battle him again, I guess. Whoop. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to spam that button. And I was a miss. Okay. Papyrus, unparalleled spaghetti tour. What the heck does that even mean? Is that a person that makes spaghetti or something like that? Oh, wow, how'd I avoid the, whoa, no! Man, he's cackling now, geez. For 13 health, I don't know if I want to use an item. Do I have any, I don't think I have anything to use against him though. Toy knife, snow piece, ice cream, stick, ice cream, ice cream, bandage, toy knife, blah, blah, blah. No, it's just, okay, it's just repeating now. Right now, I'm, I, I think I'm gonna take an ice cream because I'm almost like I'm dead. You're looking nice today. You recovered 15 HP. Not bad. I was like, gonna, okay, yeah, make some uh, attack again because that was my turn right there, huh? So, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's gonna be, ooh, man. Holy heck, how did I take damage there? Preparing a bone attack. Okay, I guess we'll fight him some more then, huh? Not do too much damage. Oh, there you go, because we actually did a little bit of damage there. I'll have lots of admirers, but. Whoop. Whoa, up a little bit, up a medium a little bit, medium a little bit, ah, pretty high up, whoa, pretty high up there. Oh, really good there. Trying hard to play cool. Let's keep fighting him, but do like minimal damage, I guess. Oh, I miss. <laughs> I don't know, do I have to, oh, whoa, and then jump, and then don't move, and then jump, and then don't move, and then jump, and then don't move. Oh man, it counted as move. No! Okay, at least that invincibility frame was uh, protecting me at the end, huh? I, I guess I have to keep battling him then, huh? And I'd hate to do too much damage. After you're captured and sent away. What happens after I'm captured and sent away? Man! I think I'm gonna die here or something! Whoop. Oh. Rattling his bones. Yeah, tell me about it. Whoop. There you go. Keep doing damage. 47 damage. Uh, who cares? Give up. Oh, wow, no, 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 Stay on the ground. Whoa, these are eating, though. How am I gonna avoid those if they're eating like that? Man! He's cackling. Do some more damage. Spam, spam, spam. Try and get up to like, I don't know, maybe half health or something like that. Give up or face my special attack. Okay, maybe I have to survive long enough for him to do a special attack. And then ignore the blue. <sighs> okay. Wait. Oh, it was coming from the other side and I got hit right there. Man. Okay, well, I'm going to take another nice cream here. Because I'm almost like dead. There you go. So hopefully I can survive this. Keep the 22 HP and then keep, keep, da oh, keep damaging him long enough. Uh, to survive and, and hopefully he'll do a special attack and then just... Okay, there you go. Whew. Okay, let's keep attacking. Whew, there you go. Dead center, 49 damage. This is your last chance before my special attack. Okay, good. Because I'm, I'm curious about it, and I know... Oh, no, man! I need to really concentrate here, you guys. You know, okay, he's preparing a bone attack. Whoa! Whew, there you go, dead center again. Okay, now he's like half health. Behold, my special attack. A <laughs> dog chewing on a bone! What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! <laughs> Not that, that! Oh well, I'll just use a really cool regular attack! Uh oh, getting ready for a regular attack? <laughs> I don't think, cause I don't think I have any more ice cream, I might as well just continue on, huh? Mercy, that's not going to do anything. Yeah, it's not going to do anything, so go back, continue fighting, see what the regular attack is. 51 damage there. Ah, here's an absolutely normal attack. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, no, man! Whoa, I can't. Jeez! Holy heck, that's. Oh! Oh! All right, how did I survive that? Oh, there's a the bone! Oh, man, I got hit by the special attack. Is this a cool, cool dude? <laughs> There's a bone with sunglasses riding a skateboard. There's a billion bones! Oh no, I took damage! Oh no! Oh my gosh, two health, two health. 
Oh, how am I going to get over that bone? <laughs> okay, is this it? Because I'm almost like a dad. I don't think I have anything else to eat. Well, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. He's sparing you. Let's do it. There we go. It worked. Oh, my gosh. Holy after all that. Was that like a 10 minute battle there? Jeez. <laughs> New hoo -hoo. Is that like the negative version of yeah? <laughs> I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's gonna be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard. And my friend Quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be... What a loser! Let's be friends! Yeah, let's be friends! Aww. Yeah, I like, I like Papyrus. Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess, I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowee, we haven't even had our first date. And I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them. You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through. And I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open a barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you'll have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is... Well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, uh, can I please go home? He'll guide you right through the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at him, what in the world is he doing? He went over the water and stuff too. <laughs> Alright, so can we actually do that though? Can I actually go over here and... And I guess all the, the cloud coverage, fog, or whatever that was, is all gone, yeah. So isn't this his house here? So is this open? Oh, there he is! So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Where's that? Is it Grillsby's? Because Grillsby's, uh, I hear is quite the hot place, if you know what I mean. <laughs> what? Are we... My house. <laughs> we just went in a circle. <laughs> All right, I guess we just go in. Hey, what in the world's going on up there? The heck? <laughs> what is this? Well, he's got a big TV over here, though. Is this the kitchen over here? What is this? Can I actually go in there? I can. Holy heck. Uh-oh, is he going to yell at me? Oof. Okay, I guess he's following me. What's in the fridge? Aha, interested in my food museum? Please, peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. <laughs> Wait, why does it sink up so high there? Oh, I guess maybe because Papyrus himself is so tall, huh? <laughs> but it's higher than the fridge, jeez. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Chips in the fridge? What in the world? <laughs> Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. Ow, oh, there's a dog chewing on another bone! <laughs> what? Catch that meddling canine. <laughs> Curses. <laughs> Sands over there with a trombone. Sands, stop plaguing my life with incidental music. <laughs> 
dude, he's got a big painting up there of just a bone. What about the TV? What's this thing? Is this a cat tree or something? It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring him back to my room? Forget it. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles? <laughs> what about the TV, though? Can I turn it on? Oh, jeez! Oh, it's my favorite game show. It says stay tuned for a new program, MTT. Isn't that the cream meal's putting on his face? What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. <laughs> Can I sit on the couch? You touch the couch and it makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You've got 20 Hey, don't mind if I do. 20 goods. Did that actually make my gold up? go up though 140 i think it did and i still got two hp i need to go to grillsby's or whoever can get me food or maybe stay a night or something like that and i'll be full health i don't know uh but i i don't think i have anything in my inventory whoops uh whoops that's the wrong button this button yeah i've got no more of those nice cream so holy heck i'm glad i used them when i did but uh, oh i guess if anything the bandage also heals you up right i think so but how do we go back there we go see what he has to say now though Welcome to scenic uh, my house. Enjoy and take your time. I'm taking my time over here looking at literally everything. <laughs> it's a joke book. Take a look inside, yes or no? I don't know if I should spoil myself, but let's just look inside. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. What? You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside again, and there's another quantum physics book. Uh, you decide to stop. <laughs> okay. Was that a, in and of itself an actual joke? I don't know, but I assume this is uh, Papyrus' room, because over there was Sans' room. It looked like he just came out of there. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we can go in and uh, do whatever people do when they date. <laughs> go inside. No, not yet. Let's go see what Sans is up to. Look at this painting of a bone first. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. What, bones? <laughs> I guess that's important if you're a heckin' skeleton, right? <laughs> See what Sans is doing over here, though. The door is locked! No, man! All right, I guess we'll go into his bedroom then and see what's happening next. Yep, here we go. Go inside? Okay, let's go inside and see what happens next. What the <laughs> He's got one of those beds. It's like a race car. Are you kidding me? That's amazing. He's got a bunch of action figures, a pirate's flag over here, a little door to probably a balcony or something, a little box of bones over here. <laughs> Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it basically just happened. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's got a computer over here doing what's on it. The internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Yeah, what's that font called? Papyrus? <laughs> yeah, I realized that, like, episode two or something like that. He, his name is Papyrus because his font is, like, Papyrus, whenever it's on screen. Sans over there is the Sans Serif font, huh? But what's over here? There are no skeletons inside my closet. Why does your closet go outside, though? Except me, uh, sometimes. <laughs> Look in the closet. Okay, let's see what's in the closet. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Oh, okay, that's good. What's inside the uh, the bookshelf over here? That book's one of my favorites. Advanced puzzle construction for critical minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Oh, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to spoil the book for any of you guys. So I'm not going to continue reading it. <laughs> what about over here with a pirate flag? Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, uh, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> you know what? I think you're onto something there. I think deep down, every human has a little bit of skeleton inside of them. <laughs> Ah, yes. Action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa. <laughs> what about this awesome bed over here? 
That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. <laughs> that sounds like a good time there. Well, that's about everything in this room. What does he have to say now? So, uh, uh, if you've seen everything, uh, do you want to start the date? Begin the date? I thought the date was already going on. I guess, I guess now we can start it. Let's start it. Okay, dating starts. Wow! Oh, jeez, I thought we were going to battle again. Dating start. Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before, but don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. That's right. I've snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for a dating HUD. Okay, what's that going to be? I'm using the controller right now. This? Monday? The heck is this? Reel it in? <laughs> it's like I'm fishing population. There's a radar there. Crime? Egg? <laughs> wow, -wee. I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem. Human. I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Okay, I accept. Really? Wow, we. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Dot, dot, dot. Uh-oh. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That ribbon in your hair. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No. Could it be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning. That's true. Ow! What the heck is going on? No! You planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No. Your dating power. Whoa! Date power went up a third or so. Yeah. Yeah. Don't think you've bested me yet. As there's a tension, like, meter on screen. I, the great papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. Didn't you just say you've never done this before? Uh, I guess that's still true then. No. <laughs> I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Uh-oh, is he going to get naked? Don't tell me he's going to get naked! <laughs> He's got a tank top that says, cool dude. <laughs> yeah, what do you think of my secret style? I love it. No, a genuine compliment. The day power went up. <laughs> Another third. <laughs> so if I do it one more time, is it going to reach maximum dating power? Let's see. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Move and inspect with Z. Okay, let's do it. Wait, what happened? Oh, I have to move the- okay. So what do I do? Inspect his hand? Holding my hand so I'll tell you the answer. No, I must resist. Okay, what about his shoes? Compliment his shoes. Human souls are stronger than monster souls, but the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. <laughs> what about the shorts? There's no secret to my legs, just hard work and perseverance. <laughs> what about his, um, I don't know if his socks would do anything, let's do it. There's no secret. Oh yeah, he's just saying the same thing. <laughs> what about his tank top, his cool dude tank top? This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip. All clothing articles can be improved this way. Yeah, I agree. His shoulders kind of look like basketballs, honestly. I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. But who doesn't? Yeah, biceps. They look like basketballs. <laughs> what about his hat? Let's do his hat and then let's do his face. My hat. My hat. My hat. <laughs> oh, what is that? Well, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Open it. Let's see what's inside. Do you know what this is? I can't tell. It looks like just a bunch of pixels. Or <laughs> is that a brain or something? What is that? Spaghetti. <laughs> Spaghetti. <laughs> That's what you're thinking, isn't it? 
right, but oh so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti finely aged in an oaken cask, then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Well, what's going to happen if I eat it? You take a small bite. Your face reflexively stretches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ah, ah, no! Wow, the dating power exceeded the graph. Or the bar, or whatever you call it. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you, I, Papyrus, I, um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Uh, dot, dot, dot. Oh, uh, shoot. Human, I, uh, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. Uh, I thought that because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I've only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? Dot, dot, dot. No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, uh, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. Yeah. Hey, okay, well, I guess his feelings weren't as strong as mine then, uh. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, I gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that was a pretty fun little interaction there, just in general, I guess, huh? <laughs> can I go out here? Can I go to Sansa's room now, though? Or what's happening? Let's see. I think that's the same music that I was playing a minute ago. Okay, it's still locked. Okay, cool. I guess that's it. Oh, didn't mean to go in there. Jeez. So, uh, is there. Oh, can I go into this, though? Or. This thing is so tall, you can't even wash your hands. <laughs> what about over here? What about this? Oh, there's an empty pie tin inside the stove. Oh, okay. Well, was he trying to make a butterscotch cinnamon pie as well or what? I don't know. And I think we are looking at trash, right? It's just like bones or some of that. And if we go outside, yeah. I guess that's it, huh? Now, what about this? Can I go into this now or? It was locked from the inside. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to do that then. Well, anyways, if I continue on over here, is there going to... Oh, oh. Is it going to be a save or what? Wait, am I going to encounter Papyrus again or what is this? What is this? Didn't he say? Oh. Oh, that's just like ground that doesn't have snow on it, though. Okay, well, let's continue on. Yeah, I thought I was going to get pushed off the screen. Oh, it's in the foreground. What is this? Uh, it doesn't let me interact with that. I guess it's just. Oh, I guess, yeah, I guess it's decoration or some of that. But what is all this, though? Oh, there is a save. Okay, good. I was about to say, I, I guess I'd go back to the start of whatever this town was snowed in, and then we can save again, but I guess we can save here. Now, we already saw this guy earlier. He said we have a striped shirt, therefore must be a child, right? Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. 
Okay, uh, who are you even talking about? What about this guy? This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Oh, okay. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard. Wait. Wait, was that the... Neat, huh? Neat, huh? Is this thing going to say neat, huh? I guess so. <laughs> so if I talk to this guy now. Okay, I'm ready when you are. What about this? Neat, huh? I guess that guy was too far away and didn't hear him, huh? <laughs> See what Sans is saying. I guess we'll save the game and end off the episode, huh? What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillsby's. Wanna come? Yeah, sure, why not? Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from work. Alright, are we actually going to go to Grillsby's or... Over here! I know a shortcut. Oh jeez, we actually are here, holy heck. That shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone! Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. <laughs> Sansy. Hey, Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> here, get comfy. Alright. Oh my gosh, you put a whoopee cushion there. <laughs> Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Fries, burger, eh. Uh, let's do a burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grills me, we'll have a double order of burg. Burg? <laughs> you can't say burger. <laughs> Alright, so he's going to go into the back and get a burger? So, what do you think? Of my brother. Cool, uncool. I'm like, I just went on a date with him, so I guess I think he's cool. Let's say that. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that, I mean he wears it in the shower. <laughs> oh, he's got the burgers for us. Hey, look at that. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Yes or no? Yeah, uh, yes, do ketchup on the burger, sure. Bone appetite! <laughs> you tip the ketchup, the cap falls off, and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. <laughs> Whoops! Eh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. <laughs> what is he doing, stretching his butt? <laughs> anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be a part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's uh, still a work in progress. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's probably why he says he's going to be a part of the Royal Guard someday, because it's a work in progress, a constant work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Oh yeah, what is it? I like how we're like on an actual like straight up date with Sans right now, getting a burger. <laughs> Have you ever heard of the talking flower? Uh, you mean the one that was the intro that like fought us? Or maybe the echo flower that we just saw a few minutes ago? I guess I've heard of it, sure. So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Interesting. So I guess we're going to see a lot of those echo flowers in the next area, huh? Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Uh, can you foot the bill? It's just a 10,000 gold, jeez. Uh, no, I can't afford that. Just kidding. Reels me, put it on my tab. I wonder how big his tab is. Maybe it actually is 10,000 gold by now, golly. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. <laughs> what? You stop and say you're going to say something, but you forgot. What's the point of that? Oh, I can actually move now. Oh, and there's that burger that's just sopped in ketchup. Dot, 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 dot. Grillsby says that your food is probably cold by now, especially because it's covered in ketchup. <laughs> what about that other burger, though? No one's eating anything. It's just going to waste. Man. All right, well. Oh, and then now we're out here. Okay, well. 
I kind of want to go over there where Sans was just a minute ago, that little like second job that he has, and save the game over there, just so we can continue progressing next episode. So let me just keep heading over there real quick, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. And then we can end off the episode and start looking forward to next episode. Oh, here we are, okay. I probably should have saved, honestly, before talking to Sans, but hey, at least we have all that stuff out of the way now, huh? The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Okay, so 152 minutes, I think that is. But the 197, golly! Waterfall checkpoint, cool. So we just saved the game right there, awesome. Well, anyways, with that out of the way, I guess we'll just do the outro right now and start looking forward to next episode. So until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And when you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Undertale comes out. See, so don't miss it because we're going to continue going on this way. Actually, I wonder what this is. Is there something behind him? It looks like there's something behind him, but I can't go back there and see what that is. And I just realized this guy's like a goldfish bowl with like a goldfish appendages coming out of the bowl. It's kind of crazy looking. <laughs> what does the flower say now? All that gives my life validation is explaining the echo flower. What? No one can know. Is that that guy talking? I can't tell. Okay. Anyways, I think I already did the full outro right there, so <laughs> thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Undertale. Oh, bye there.